Shalom, this is Nathaniel from the Holland Camp. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakab Kadash, Double Honor City Apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, and teaching Ruth well, among many other things, and peace of salutations to the elect that are scattered abroad on the four winds of earth out there in the highways and hedges and pushing his truth and sincerity. Shalom. All right, so this article right here <clears throat> it reads India to deploy ballistic missiles near China. And Pakistan. All right. <clears throat> New De Delhi plans to station some 120 missiles along the India border. ANI news agency reports India intends to field uh, more than a hundred ballistic missiles along its border with China and Pakistan, according to local news agency ANI. The report follows New uh, Delhi's claims of clashes between India and Chinese troops in a contested area of the Himalayas earlier this month. A high-level meeting of the Defense Ministry cleared the uh, equa uh, equation of around 120 missiles for the armed forces and their deployment along the borders, a senior defense source told the outlet. According to ANI, the arms in question are domestically developed uh, prelay missiles, the tactical short-range uh, Quizzy ballistic device were successfully tested by the Indian military a year ago. They are said to have the capability of hitting targets at a range of between 100 and 150 and 500 kilometers, which is pretty far. Okay. And being hard to air defense to intercept due to directional changes during flight. The HD describes the report, reported, described and uh, described and deported, Salakia, development as a major decision for the country, which now has a policy of allowing the U.S., uh, the use of ballistic missiles in tactical roles. India's neighbors and Geo, uh, geopolitical rivals China and Pakistan, who are also nuclear powers, both have ballistic missiles in their arsenals. India also borders on Nepal, Bhutan, Bangladesh, and uh, Myanmar. In early December, the Defense Ministry in New Delhi said that, like it said, there had been brief clashes between India and Chinese border guards in Arunachal Pradesh state in the Himalayas. The incident left six Indian soldiers wounded and uh, ministry said it accused Beijing, which did not confirm that the encounter took place, of trying to what is that word? Uh, un little, unliterally changed the status quo in the Himalaya border zone. So, what's going on right now is you see these other smaller countries bearing arms right now, man. And the thing is, a lot of people don't realize that things are not getting better. Tensions are rising between different countries, not only uh, Ukraine and Russia. Okay. Uh, it says right here, last week, uh, New Delhi announced the deployment of a record number of troops to the area, called it response to the buildup by China. Now, it's kind of funny, and to, to you, you read it, right? There's also videos in the RT news, okay, um, that the mainstream media is not covering these things, man. The mainstream media is just basically putting pushing a lot of information concerning Ukraine and Russia, and a, and, and 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 
groups. Uh, I just saw some uh, um, information that um, that that is not true. So they're also uh, falsifying victims that were uh, victims from years ago from something else and using it to um, play on the emotion of the people to get them to focus more on this uh, war between uh, Ukraine and Russia. Okay. And it says here, read more. India accuses China over Himalayan border unrest. India also has lasting territorial dispute with Pakistan, the stand standoff over the Kashmir uh, region has been festering between the New Delhi and Islam uh, Islamabad as uh, Islamabad since 1947 leading to three wars and a number of smaller skirmishes. Okay? So these things are occurring right now and people don't understand that the tensions are rising, man. Throughout the earth, there is wars going on and rumors of wars, okay? And they're not covering it, man. Okay, this has been written in the on the 26th of December, <clears throat> which was like four days ago, well, five now, okay? of this month, man. So the thing is, you know, just like the Pearl Harbor, right? Uh, it says here, did uh, Pearl Harbor start World War II? Now, it, it didn't start World War II, but it got America in uh, World War II. Okay. So it says here, on December the 7th, 1941, a date that President Frank, uh, Franklin D. Roosevelt claimed would uh, would live in infamy. An Imperial Japanese Navy conduct a surprise aerial assault on Pearl Harbor. This unprovoked attack brought the United States into World War II, as it, it immediately declared war on Japan. Okay, and. You got to understand that also that was staged, you know, and you got that thing concerning um, um, Taiwan and China. And they're talking about if China invade Taiwan, that America would would ultimately go defend them, which can lead to a, a big war. But as prophecy speak, um, it's something, what does it say? This, a small one shall bring them out. So... We're going to see what happens, all right? Because a lot of things is happening right now. And the tensions are rising, right? This is Matthew chapter 24, verse 6. And it reads, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. You know, and, and these are it, man. These are, so you know, so-called rumors of wars because they're not being spoken upon in in um in mainstream media they're not talking about the wars that are going on with uh, what was that Romania and um Al Algebra Algeb I can't pronounce that dang word the name of that country that's right next to Iran there's a there's a war going on over there between these two countries but yet the mainstream media don't tell you nothing about it there's all these uh, Rumors of wars happening. Well, ultimately, the, the wars that actually ex yeah. Rumors, but also wars that are actually happening. Little skirmishes here and there. There's still wars. Okay, there's still combat on the field between countries. Okay, and they're not talking about it. Okay, and one of the main rumors also is World War, what? Three. World War Three. Okay. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. So for us in the know, you know, being in this truth, this thing of ours, as Apostle Gabar always says, this thing of ours, being in the know, we understand that all these things must come to pass. That's why we should not be troubled, because we should be being prepared and built up in the spirit, 
And we should understand clearly these things must happen in order for the end to come, right? But the end is not yet, okay? So just a quick side note, uh, side uh, thing, you know, concerning um, the fact that, you know, this is a part of uh, the trials and tribulations that we have to go through. Um, yeah, it's like I went way too far. This is Acts chapter 14, verse 22. All right, and it reads, Confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith. So exhorting means to strengthen. You know, and that's why we make these videos. That's why we are giving a warning is to prepare you in the mind and the spirit to understand the times that we're in. Okay? And that we must do much tribulation enter into the kingdom of the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. So we have to go through much tribulation. And, and, and the fact that what's going on right now is going to lead to a lot of things that people don't understand. Now, the Himalayas, right? Don't, don't we get a lot of products from the Himalayas? You get a lot of herbs, you get a lot of salts and all these different things, which is a commodity. Okay. And it, and it's leading to this, man. Uh, this is Joel, chapter 3, verse 9, and it reads, Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Right? So we proclaim these things among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near let them come up and that is actually actually what is happening right now all these different countries are gearing up uh putting their arsenals right by the border that's a declaration of war 120 ballistic missiles okay beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears so instead of putting all their money into agriculture Okay, which is going to lead to a fall of the logistics, which is going to also uh, uh, bring in famine, okay, lack of bread and water, okay, um, a fall of society, man. When, when those things are being taken, the essentials being taken away, it's going to lead to a very horrific time that we're about to face. Okay, so it's not only going to be wars actually taking place, but civil unrest, which is going to lead to civil war. You know, okay. So it says here, beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears because they're investing their money into their military instead of the economy. Right? Because it says here, let the weak say, I am strong. Okay. So even India... A small, you know, it's not really, a, I wouldn't say small, but a weak country concerning how, you know, compared to other uh, powers that are right now preparing for war. Okay, because India also has nuclear capabilities. Not only uh, India, but uh, Pakistan as well. Okay, China as well. All these different countries are preparing for war, man. Okay, they're preparing for war, man. We in the beginning of sorrows. Okay, because when these things do take place, which is happening right now, once it starts to kick off, it's going to cause a downfall of a lot of things that people are really uh, acquainted to having on their daily basis. Soon being taken away, it's going to turn a lot of heads and people are going to be in a state of mourning. Okay. So it says here in Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 18. Pretty sure you know where I'm going to go with this. Um, it says right here, uh, start of verse 18, the beginning of sorrows and great mournings, you see. Because when war breaks out, there's going to be, uh, what is that called, a draft, where men are forced into militaries, okay. Beginning of famine and great death. So there's going to be a lot of things happening. People are going to be mourning due to war, lack of bread and water, famine, and great death. A lot of things is happening right now at a fast pace, and people don't seem to grasp what's really going on until it's too late. 
All right, because Mosai got them in the trick bag. It says here, the beginning of wars. You see, the beginning of wars. All right. What does India, you know, got to put 120 ballistic missiles near the border of their, their, their country? It's a declaration of wars. And the power shall stand in fear. And these powers is talking to me about these so-called elites, these peasants, these thieves, these robbers, man. These, uh, the wicked, man. The, the so-called elites, the, the DuPonts, the Gettys, the child, the uh, Rothschild, um, Rockefeller, whatever you want to call them, pieces of shits. Y'all are standing in fear right now because these prophecies are taking place and you know the downfall of your kingdom is at hand, man. Every kingdom had a beginning and its end. Okay? Every kingdom. Right? The beginning of evils. Right? Because when... What happened in World War II? Okay, World War II, a lot of people don't like to talk about it, but World War II, there was famine, there was cannibalism, there was uh, people getting raped, people getting murdered. Okay, there was lawlessness. There was no police officer say, hey, what are you doing stealing uh, from that store? Man, there was none of that shit going on. Okay. Behold, famine and plagues, tribulation, anguish are sent as scourges for an amendment. But all, but for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. Okay. Behold, victuals shall be so good, cheap upon the earth, which is victuals is food, right? That's why people think they're in a good case. It says here that they shall think themselves to be in a good case. So. Many people upon this earth, especially for the children of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which are true biblical Hebrew Israelites, and even onto the speckled birds, you Israelite foreigners, you may look up these other nations, okay, you think that you're in a good case right now. You know, gas prices went a bit lower, back, back, so-called, so-called normal. Okay, so it seems like everything is going back to normal, you know, the, the, these unholy fucking days, man. You know, the past couple of days have been way too aggressive. And these fucking fireworks irritate the shit out of me. But, uh, yeah, we have to deal with it, man. You know, people having a good time. They're partying, living it up. They got their new New Year's resolution. Well, guess what? In 2023, you know, the most high, Yahweh Bashi Shah is going to bring the pain, man. He's going to bring the pain, man. That's something that you y'all don't really taking uh, consideration the most high Yahweh, which is the heavenly father's name Bahasham in his in his uh, in his name um Yahweh Shai who they also ignorantly call Jesus y'all don't understand Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai is about to bring the pain okay right so it says here that they shall think themselves to be in good, a good case and even then shall evils grow upon the earth sword Right, which is a modern day weapon, famine, which is the lack of bread and water, and great confusion. And that's what's continuing to happen right now. There's nothing but great confusion. You know, nowadays you you don't know what a boy is, uh, you can't even tell what a girl is a girl or a boy is a boy because of this, 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 this fucking bullshit going on. You know, you might see a, a girl, and if you question if it's, if it's a guy, then, you know, you, you already know what's up, man. This is just mad confusion upon this earth. Uh, men uh, uh, fighting against the females, you know, the females fighting against the, 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 the men, you know, it's all disorder going on upon this earth, okay? Because these females are out of order. Dudes is just, you know, it, it's just... Continual bullshit, man. You know, you got men, you know, with these shows concerning females and their wickedness, but they continue on to teach men about how to date with females. But then then what? Then what? You know? Y'all living in it now, man. But the, 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 the elect, 144, we living, we're not living it in the now. Okay? Like y'all living, man. Of course, we are here doing our thing. Pushing the word. And doing the best we can to stay uh, obedient to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? Of course, because we are chained by these uh, chains of dark, uh, darkness, which is the flesh. The flesh continue want us to go off. 
You know, we're not made perfect yet. So, yes, you know, we're going to make mistakes. And we repent from that. But the point is, you know, this we're not we're not living, man. Okay. We're ushering in the kingdom of Yasharala. That's what we're doing. Okay. So, um, right, verse 22. For many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine, and the, and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. Right? Because it's, it's going to be all chaos, man. War. Okay. So, that's pretty much it, you know. Just bringing out the news concerning the things that are going on. All right, we're in the beginning of SARS, and soon, 2023, the year 2023, man, hey, a lot of things is about to change, man, so get ready, you know, watch and pray that you don't fall into temptation, you know, and uh, continue, you know, continue to uh, be patient, continue to um, be faithful unto the Yahweh B'Shem Shah because you know, in the end, you know, it's going to be worth it, man. You know, they, they have their glory on this earth. We have ours, which is in heaven. So we just got to continue to wait. So with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakutash, double honor to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone that teach and rule well among many other things. And peace of citations to the elect that are scattered abroad, four winds of earth out there in the highways, hedges, and pushing truth and sincerity. Shalom.